assault method isn't my kind of strategy. But sometimes you need shock and awe to throw the enemy off balance. We're on the way. What's that? You're not getting out of here alive. Give it up, 106. <laughs> Welcome to Trepang 2, or as I like to call it, the Zoomer Fear. We play as John Trepang, a super soldier raised by Horizon Corporation, which is an equivalent of every single evil corporation you have seen a thousand times. We are currently getting brainwashed by unspeakable things until... We wake up in a Site-14, a Horizon Black site where, outside of brainwashing, they also store confiscated phones containing subway surfers. Today there was a massive drama on X which involved person. We are introduced to basic concepts of the game, like the stealth, the AI, and that we are a bit slow whilst being handcuffed. Somehow. Anyway, we found a key for them, literally next room, and along with it, our first gun. The combat in this game is a lot like fear, but the fear took 5 tons of coke. You have two abilities that are available to you, the slow-mo and the cloak that makes you invisible. You gain first by putting enemies to sleep, and the second regenerates passively when you are not using it. After killing the last of Horizon's troops, we are apprehended by Task Force 27, the good guys of the story. But not before I mercilessly kill them. Welcome to the HQ. It's a cozy main hub of the game where you can respite, pick a variety of camos for our character, ranging from pretty plain militaristic to very special. Or check who do you have to actually erase. A really cool feature that one. mission where the game really opens up. Together with Task Force 27, you assault the Holotar from Fear and Hunger 2, where they perform experiments of people in the name of SCIENCE! Intel report that Subject 106 is in the courtyard. rid of what's outside and inside, we stumble on Ghost who tells us that the basement is probably flooded with grunts right now. Lovely, surely this will be another repeat. Oh, this section is where Trepang reveals one of his horror elements. The whole hospital-like place is overrun with Mothman who serves as the big body of this section and infected personnel who just kinda are PS consumers. After getting kicked by Mothman and having an escape sequence we find Dr. McGuffin and he's uh... Well he's kinda dead. Our next order is to blow up this place. We do that by eating the infected personnel into reactors which is up in yet another escape sequence. Thankfully though, we leave just in time and emerge from the rooftops where we finally kill Mothman, finally ending this wild ride. Back in the base, the director reveals us a massive secret in the form of a thermal nuclear device. Why? Well, that's a surprise tool that will help us later. Yo 
Jeremy Castle is a place where the most vile of beings reside. The British. The objective is to destroy this wretched cult and for that we need those three dudes gone. We game in the Enforcer and after he's dead, we observe Horizon turning the castle into a new Fortnite season. Along the way to find our missing teammates, we also find this. This is the most overpowered upgrade in this game. Turns the good old Spass into an absolute hellraiser. Hello guys, I'm Ian McCollum from ForgottenWeapons.com and today we are going to burn our enemies alive! It's time to get the Patriarch, and for it, we use the power of LSD to allow us to dual wield weapons. Welcome to Site 83, a black site that is located in such a backwater that even dogs are biking with their asses here. The story of this place is that once upon a time a group of Soviet scientists decided that this would be a great base. And as you might know, the only thing that is scarier than Soviet science is Ultra Kill's Weezer Room. So we go through this facility, encounter anomalies like in every Russian underground lab ever, and we even get jumpscared by unspeakable things, which leads us to a stealth section, and after a brief shootout with Horizon, we land here. Yep, you can't mistake that stench on the yellow carpet, boys. Welcome to the back rooms. <laughs> after we get out of the back rooms, we find remaining among those units that I kick so hard that they grow a third leg. We alternate between normal facilities and backrooms and we finally land in the center of the facility where Subject 83 is located. Hit it again! We gotta destroy this thing! This mission is basically combat arena after combat arena. It's difficult as hell, but goddamn is it satisfying. Really, the only thing that would bring this mission up in the ratings would be 106 having a Jagger suit on and an ability to hang the antagonist. Six, what have they done to you? You can't do this to me. I've sacrificed everything for this! This is the final arena, and I'll be honest, this one is as difficult as trying to stay awake whilst trying to beat on a rail. Your goal is to destroy the brains that Lazar wants to use to transfer his consciousness into the Matrix. The whole prelude where you have to destroy the brains one by one is easy enough, but the heater is really turned up when the final brain appears, as it is strapped onto a fucking chopper! Oh, 
Don't fight it. You're our most valuable asset, 106. You served the Syndicate well. It's time for you to retire now. Final preparations are complete. We'll stand by. Acknowledged. Terminate cycle 106. He served us well. All units be advised. Subject 106 is active. Containment measures are ineffective. All fire teams man your stations! Subject 106 betrayed us! This is a call landing! It turns out that the Task Force 27 have been the bodies all along. And all those people that we have been killing were the good guys. It's almost as if I was the bomb that killed the wrong people. Oh god, what do we do now? We're so fucking screwed! Cut the chatter! Get a hold of yourself, dammit! Start the next cycle. That's gonna damage the facility. We need all the power we can get. Start the next cycle now. It's almost reached the cooling chamber. We need backup. Reinforcements are on the way. Stay put. Preparations for the next cycle are almost complete. Initiating cycle 107. What 07 is an interesting enemy to fight, as he is the answer to what 106 would look like if he was black or Chinese. The guy is invisible half of the time and only reveals himself when he wants to slice your heart out, but he has one weakness, incendiary rams reveal his presence. Once we feed him enough lead, he bugs out and we can go back to making Swiss cheese out of Cindy's soldiers. We go room to room, sending more and more soldiers to the great task force in heaven until we find ourselves in a trapped room. Just in the nick of time, you manage to disarm it, just to get disarmed ourselves by 107. Armless or not, we continue and finally end our journey, facing our successor one last time. Oh. Wow.